Hey, what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. I've got a couple of questions about evictions, uh, leaving the apartment complex early, this kind of stuff. I want to get into this to help you out, okay? First and foremost, someone emailed me and said, hey, you know, I left my apartment with a friend. I guess they didn't pay the end, you know, the, the last of the month and all this stuff, and it didn't get classified as an eviction. They're looking at it, it's not an eviction. It's probably not an eviction. It really has to be that specific legal procedure, that specific, hey, they gave you the notice, the pay notice to vacate or quit, this kind of stuff to move out or pay or they're gonna pull you out as an eviction, right? A little bit different. Not paying the last of your stuff. Might be a collection, and you looked at the report, it wasn't on there, so it's not an eviction, so don't sweat it, right? So people are like, hey man, was there an eviction? Is there eviction chilling somewhere? I'm gonna tell you in a minute where you can find these other things, because I got another question very similar. So, first and foremost, you know, don't trust somebody with your credit like that, okay? Um, even if you're maybe in a roommate situation, you're not sure if they're gonna pay, you're gonna pay. Make sure it's either in their name or your name. You can kick somebody out or they can, or you can get out without having ramifications to your credit. Now, this individual, Jasmine, asks, if I remove the eviction from my credit, does it still show up on your rental history or will it, will it be deleted as well? So first and foremost, your credit reports are oftentimes your rental history reports, right? So most of the times when you go into an apartment complex and they're gonna pull your credit, that's what they're looking for. Collections, collections to apartment complexes, evictions, this type of stuff. So if it's not in your reports, you're probably okay. But just like the other individual who was like, I don't see an eviction on my report, is it, should I be worried? This individual's like, hey, uh, do I have some other lingering rental history out there? Is someone, is, are they gonna be able to see that kind of stuff? What's going on, Brandon? So if you go into an apartment complex that you had an eviction with, then they might be able to know, obviously. And if it's owned by the same, there are companies out here that own the same properties, they might be able to see it. However, if you're going to a different property, it's not owned by the same company, and it's not in your reports, you're probably okay. If they're seeing it somewhere else, you might wanna take a look at these other bureaus, okay? Con con contemporary. Contemporary Information Corp, CIC reports.com, all right? There's usually about eight of them here. CoreLogic, we've talked about before. Experian Rent Bureau. First Advantage Corporation Resident History Reports, Leasing Desk, also known as Real Pages Inc., so it's realpages.com, ScreeningReports.com, TenantData.com, and TransUnion Rental Screening Solutions, MySmartMove.com, okay? More than likely, if it's not on your reports, you're good to go, okay? If, for some reason, you go to an apartment complex, they see something, ask them where they're seeing it. Ask them where they're seeing this inaccurate, potentially outdated, unverified information. So you can correct this, you can demand removals, you can dispute it. Ask them. Ask them where they see this stuff. Okay, because you're like, hey, it's not on my reports. If this video helped you out, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe try button, the bell for notifications, and until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.